Today I'm going to be asking the students to work uh, in small groups to have a discussion about a video that they had watched yesterday concerning the topic of uh, early human beginnings, the origins of human society. In order for the students to really capture the heart of what this unit's all about, I'm going to ask them to talk about these puzzles in their small groups and come up with a headline to sort of capture what's it all about. I asked you to connect with ideas. I've asked you to think about how your ideas were extended or how your thinking was extended. Now I want you to think about the challenge or the puzzle in this whole topic just in general. And then I'm going to give you a piece of paper like this. I want your group to come up with a headline that really captures the heart of what the puzzle and challenge of the search for human origins is all about. So you're going to discuss those challenges and puzzles that you wrote about in your journal last night. And then as a group, come up with a headline that really captures what's the big puzzle or question or challenge here in a study of early human beginnings. Okay? Yeah. Well, some, sometimes people, uh, people can also like, people, maybe people want to know who we, who we actually are. Like, yeah. I knew that behind, in my mind, that there was something before that, yeah, but I'm, just I just went straight to cavemen. Maybe it's not even that, maybe it's like a thousand year old, years old, but it's still not our first relative. What is it you know, pretty much all about? Is, okay, basically, how do we, how can we sum up everything that we've been talking about in a phrase? It's a big topic to just think. To, one, yeah, to one yeah. sentence. Just like sum it down. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe something like um, finding out about the past through, or maybe something. Um, the, the message our ancestors mess, left behind. Um, interpreting uh, a message. I think it should be something about in interpretations. Are <laughs> <laughs> something about interpretation because really all of this is, is, has something to do with interpreting a story. What happened? Yeah. Because everybody has their own different ideas of what ha what happened to their ancestors. Uh, no, maybe it's connected, uh, interpreting and connecting to what we. Know okay. about our you got one? We kind of okay, that. if you can do that in the next couple of minutes and then get that written down, and we'll share them in just a few minutes. Who is the nicest All right. Can you finish up these headlines? Because what I want to do is then have every group just kind of sh share theirs. Every group needs to have the, just uh, a couple of words to say behind their headline. And uh, we'll share that, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so if you, that group over there, if you could just kind of share your headline and just give us a few words why that headline really captures for you what the big puzzles of our whole study's been. Okay, um, our he headline is why do mysteries begin and how do they end? First of all, we our questions were, well, why did the early human ancestors have to, uh, what, what made them want to start to what made their body need to start to change and become more like ours these days and well how do they end also do we make it to find out and and to know how uh, do, do we find out everything or is there still something left and is it true or great how about that table back there um, our headline is the explain explanation game of our past and we called it that because an explanation game is pretty much a group of people giving their different ideas or interpretations about one certain thing. And that's kind of what the paleontologists do. And different um, paleontologists or anthropologists see different things when they look at the same area. Our headline is who we really are. We did that headline because um, we're still finding out, like, um, Lots of archaeologists are still finding artifacts that lead to different, different explanations of what, who we really are, like what happened, how we came. Do you think that's a question that's ever going to be answered? No. Why don't you, your group share your headline and tell us a little bit about what your headline is or are. We, we had two headlines. One of them was, is evidence enough? Because we, we, um, we thought that first of all you need to get the evidence 
but also the like if, if does does the evidence still still Tell prove you that you, you still don't know if, for, for sure like definitely like it will still give you a pretty good idea but talk, talk to us about that other headline you have there Ariel it was will we ever know and it kind of connected to the first one because the first one was like um kind of will we ever know like the whole truth about the history kind of um also when uh, we watched the movie i remember that uh, the archaeologist who uh, found the bone of the uh, of the knee joint he said um, that this whole uh, thing is just like a detective game and you have to go around and you find different things and then they give you clues to what might have happened but you're not you're not very sure because if you find something else, it could change the whole interpretation from the other clues. That it might have changed the whole ending, wouldn't they? I think there's enough mystery there to keep us going for a long time on it. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, let's call this one a day for this discussion. What I want to do with these headlines then is put them up on our on our bulletin boards or on a display board. You can go back to your table. From there, I would like to take those headlines. And then after two weeks more of this unit, when, when the kids do their final project, I'm going to ask them, what's the headline now? As a way of thinking, well, how has the story changed? How has their thinking changed from that moment in time when we had this talk about the video?